What is up everyone? This is Sorkin09 and this is going to be Operation Bedrock episode 247, 247th episode of the Operation Bedrock series, where we're going to be mining the entire world here. There's nothing but Bedrock left, except for four to the floor, of course, because we need something flat to walk on. And I am stuttering at the very beginning of the episode. Now that is fantastic. It's been a very, very long day, and as well as it's late at night, I got to get this recorded so that I could actually have it uploaded just in time. Even though I don't do schedule uploading anymore, because apparently doing direct uploads straight to public actually gets you more views and as well as that it gets into the sub boxes or notification squad early or that not early but it actually works it just works better than to actually schedule the upload or make a private video or unlisted video to upload on public youtube is broken what can i say but it actually has been proven, at least for me, that more people are actually watching the video or people are actually noticing the video as soon as it uploads when I make it public. So that's what it is. I'm just going by that. And now that I am talking, let's go ahead and continue on talking. Whew. All I got to say is that summer break is here. I'm very happy for that, honestly. Now that I'll have more time to actually go to work. That's pretty much what it is. That's what it comes down to. But more than likely, I'll probably have more time to actually get some videos done and worked at. Just as long as I can actually figure out my schedule now. Meaning that I'm going to have to put in some more effort into exercising after work. So how is this going to work out? Pun intended. That all I can say is that I could possibly walk my dog Star which will actually be beneficial for her and for myself because I really need to get to walking. And I got to get used to walking because I'm going to probably do a lot of walking at VidCon. Mainly that I really want to work out, get toned up, and just be healthy overall just for VidCon. That's my motivation right there. I don't want to be sluggish. I want to have some energy. And as well as that, I don't want to tire out quickly if I were to walk around a block. So it's mostly just for my health and for my insanity or sanity. Insanity? Would it be for my insanity? Possibly, because I am just talking to a microphone where you guys are listening anyway, so you just hear me ramble on until oblivion. Now, I gotta say that one of the things that will benefit Star is that if I were to walk her pretty much a good five times a week, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to manage five times a week. If anything else, at least three times a week. It really depends on how my schedules are going to go. And I'm hoping, I'm just hoping that I will have a lot of morning shifts or at least the mid afternoon. Mainly that I'll be able to work from opening up until 4 p.m. or at least from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. or even down to 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Just as long as I have the rest of the night, I'll be able to walk star. So that I'll walk her towards maybe 10 p.m. or even midnight because it's still a good time and may be cool so that it will not affect her health also bad. She is a German Shepherd, but if you were to walk a German Shepherd in a hot summer day, it's not going to go so well. If I'm not mistaken, German Shepherds have two layers of coating, so or at least two layers of fur. So if I were to walk her in a summer day, it's not going to go so well. I really don't want her to have a heat stroke in the summer day, and for the night, at least she'll be able to be cool enough, and especially for myself too, because I would not want to walk in the summer heat. I'll be sweating way too much. That would be bad just for me to sweat all that much. And luckily for me that the main street is all lit up with street lights. So that's good. Really good. That it goes all the way down to a good, well, five miles, but I'm pretty much going to walk at least two miles every day or every time I'm able to. So that's good. That's a good path to take. And maybe I could actually start jogging. It's better to go in a straight line anyways. So if I were to take up jogging, then that would be even more exercise for Star, especially when she loves to run. So I could actually have her run as well as me. So let's see how well that goes. If I actually take up running, then at least I'll be able to condition her enough from the jogging up to running in that pace. So it'll just be a little bit of a progression. Progression. I cannot talk tonight. It's very, very late. I apologize for that. And not to mention I'm actually sick. I'll let you guys know about that in a bit. That, what was I saying? Ah, yes, just pretty much the progression from walking to jogging up until running. And hopefully I'll be able to get that runner's high because that's an actual thing. That's a legitimate thing where you actually feel good just because you run. So if I'm able to get that, do dogs actually get that? I'm pretty sure they do because they always run. They run so much. They have so much energy. So I'm guessing that they do get that. But in any case, if I get that, that'll actually be beneficial to me because 
that would make me run run even more. So just exercising in general, it will be good for you. All I could say is that I really hope that I could actually maintain this. Just mainly just walking. That would be a good start. And then afterwards, I could actually lift some weights because I have 25 pound dumbbells I could actually use and as well as some other exercising equipment. I actually have the total gym. It was given to my father and right now it's actually collecting dust in another spot. So if I were to just bring that out and start using it, then that will still be beneficial to me. A total gym, a gym at your home. I'm not sponsored, by the way, but if I were to get sponsored, then that would be a great way for me to get sponsored and to make videos on that. So think about it. Any case. What am I saying? I don't even know right now. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sick. A little bit. Just a tad bit. That the other day, that finals day, that complete final finals day, that I've only had two hours of sleep. Yay! Two hours of sleep. And not to mention that one of the softwares that I had was not working so well. So, that's bad. Very bad is my antivirus software. Right now it's currently not, well, it is working, it's halfway working, but the one feature that you're supposed to get with it is not working for whatever reason. So I'm probably gonna look for other products if tech support is not able to help me out, which doesn't make sense, that all of a sudden it just stopped working. So if they are able to fix it, hooray! Just hopefully they're not trying to upsell me something else. People are sketchy like that. The one thing I would not want to deal with is just tech support from overseas. I am sorry, but that is just kind of very hard to get through. I've already dealt with that once. It took a long while to get the issue resolved, but overall, it's just not a well good experience. And there's always a stereotype that goes along with it. And you guys probably will understand if you actually dealt with tech support as well from overseas, of course. But yeah, if by chance it doesn't work out for me, then I'll let you guys know in a new video and ask you guys what other softwares I could actually use for that time being. So let's see how things will turn out. All I could say is that it's just a big mess right now. Because I spent a good, like, four hours just reinstalling it, uninstalling it, reinstalling, uninstalling it, just trying to get it to work. Because it's very essential for a computer to have antivirus software and if it doesn't want to work with you then what's the point of having it in the first place and then of course the paranoia sets in where what if i do this what if i do that what if i get this and this and this although again pretty much a good 95 percent of it's working it's just that the other five percent is what you're worried about <laughs> vulnerability but in any case if you guys know any good antivirus software that I can actually get, then let me know. I don't care for the, the price of it, just as long as it's pretty much top-notch, that it works, and that everybody else is kind of using it too, then that's all I care for. So yeah, two hours of sleep, not that good. At least I was able to sleep in for at least eight hours, so it's starting to catch up little by little, and hopefully I'll be able to sleep well tonight while I have this one to be uploaded soon enough anyways. Again, you're seeing this video, so you know it's uploaded. On a different side note, do any of you guys know how to actually transfer the save file from the Xbox One onto the hard drive, or what's it called? The, ex the external hard drive? I cannot figure it out. It was easy on a 360, but when it came to the Xbox One, I have no idea how to do it. I want to be able to back up Operation Better Rock and Operation Blackout just in case if something were to happen. So I want to back that up into the external hard drive. I just don't know how to do it yet. Unless if I'm actually not able to do it, then rip that I spent the money on the external hard drive, but at least I'll be able to download it pretty much install the games onto the hard drive so I'll have more extra space for the Xbox One anyways. So it's still a good investment, just very annoying to deal with. Just going ahead and putting all the blocks away because we are going to save every single one. That the ones that are not actually marked by the torches, that means it's completely full. So 3,456 blocks are in these chests. And this is a good indication of how much we've actually done over the time that we've worked on Operation Bedrock. Those are a lot of chests. And all I can say is that it'll be all yours once we actually get this world done or if we actually give up on this world. You have a lot of wolfies too. Lots and lots of wolfies. So many wolfies. I cannot actually do anything with these wolves because uh, I transferred from the 360 onto the Xbox One and thus these wolves are technically no longer mine so I can't do anything with them. They're just there. 
They're just there looking pretty, looking cute and adorable. And good to know that talking actually gets the phlegm out. Even though that could be a little bit of TMI, but it's still useful to know. Just gotta do a lot and a lot of talking. Again, I am sick, so let's see how well that this commentary is gonna go with a lot of jump cuts. All I gotta say is that we just have a lot of work to do. I'm happy that I could actually sleep in, like sleep in more often. If I could actually talk right, I am just slurring everything today. But in any case, that I'll be able to sleep in more often. I'll be able to try to get more work done with Operation Better Record Operation blackout and as well as they'll have more hours at work hopefully getting the morning shifts because that's definitely more hours that's that's an easy eight hours if they give me opening to 4 p.m and then of course that we're just working on making everything work out for us that Hopefully I'll be able to do some more live streams. Hopefully that I'll be able to live stream with my friends more often since they'll have more free time to do things. And as well as that, pretty much finals is almost over for everyone. At least starting June, I'm hoping to do a lot more co-op let's plays or co-op live streams. So that could be a thing. I'm hoping to do a lot of collaborations with other people as well since everyone's going to have free time. And of course, just more time for me to make my videos that... If I start vlogging, that would be one thing. And by me vlogging, I mean just sitting down on the chair and talking to you guys. I'm not going to go out. I'm not going to just walk around on the public. It'd be kind of weird. I'm not used to that. I just have a little bit of low self-confidence in that department. Or low self-esteem. So, sorry about that. Who knows? Maybe I'll actually get around to doing that. All I can say is that... It's just simple, just simple. Sitting down in front of the camera, let's just start talking. Maybe I'll actually do some face cam videos. Who knows? What do you guys think about face cam videos? Will that be fine? If it is, then maybe I actually could start doing that. If not, then that'll be another time. Because people want to do face cam live streams, so that's one way of doing that. But maybe I could just ease into doing that. But for now, just do probably do face cam videos with this. Technically, a vlog is a face cam, although it's not a face cam. It's just kind of funny how people actually say it's a face cam. Whenever they actually title the videos, they say face cam because apparently that's what it actually brings in more viewers if you were just to put face cam in the title. But again, that it could still be a possibility, just face cam videos. The only reason for me to call it a face cam is actually I have gameplay in the background while having an actual like face on there so that technically is face cam but if it's just face or if it's just like a camera just a regular vlogging video with no gameplay then you don't call it a face cam just don't do it guys just don't do it you know who you are just don't do it on an off topic note whoa water that i kind of find it funny how when i said vlogging it kind of sound like a swear word i don't know it just kind of feels like it but at least I'm getting rid of a lot of dirt and gravel because these are going to get in the way. Because of course, that well, one of the things was is that back in the day, back in the day, years ago, you were able to use your efficient C4 pickaxe on dirt and it would just mine it up quickly. But now, of course, they made it more realistic where you didn't actually have a shovel to do that. Not a pick because it's just not going to work so well. So yeah, they made it more realistic in a sense that you need a shovel and not a pickaxe. I miss those days. Ah, uh, so many things. So much history. And then, of course, the fifth year anniversary of Operation Bedrock is actually going to pop up in June. So, hopefully, I'll be able to do a live stream on that day. So, that'll be a thing. That'll be its own special. And... Of course, that uh, VidCon is coming around the corner in another week after the fifth year anniversary of Operation Bedrock, so it's going to be a busy June for me. So, hopefully again, let's see if I'll be able to actually get everything set in place for a lot of videos and a lot of things and a lot of plans and workouts like that. So, I just cannot wait. I cannot wait. I don't know when I'm officially going to start, but... Let's just hope that it's soon and hopefully everything just picks up after summer break. But I'd like to take the time to thank my friends for helping me out thus far with Operation Bedrock and Operation Blackout. We have Baby Luna, we have Steve, of course Mr. Flammable, then we have Nick, even though he's not physically in the games, he's just there on the live streams just talking to me, so he helps out with the commentary and as well as that making the live stream just more fun to deal with and as well as hear us and Mo for stopping by every once in a while. I haven't actually talked to Sly Seth in such a long while. So 
for the time being that he was there, I want to thank him still. And I'm trying to remember all the other names. Hi, Sam. Whenever he stops on by. Why try, guys? Whenever he stops by in the chat. We still haven't seen Mr. Dead Guy in a while. I miss him. I really hope he actually returns. Especially when Silver Break is now actually here. Not too sure when actually arrives for him. But if it's here, if he has more time, then I'm more than happy to talk to him. And I'm more than happy to have him join us. And we may have more people joining us like Sun Devil Man and as well as Fortunate Gamer. I'm pretty sure there's another name. I just cannot think of the top of my head right now. I apologize. But I cannot think of the name right now. But in all cases that... When they show up, they'll show up, and of course, I will always give thanks and give credit to them, too. All I could say, that I just cannot wait. I just cannot wait till things pick up. I just cannot wait till everything is set in place, everything is set in motion, and everything just continue, continues on from there. Even after summer break, just as long as the momentum's still going, just as long as things pick up, that more people show up, more people talk, more people just are there to support the channel. That's all is what's worth it. I just cannot imagine myself doing anything other than YouTube. So I just want to thank you guys for taking the time to just watch these videos, to comment, to make suggestions, just anything you can do to help me out. But seeing how this is this is going to be the end of this video, I have no idea what else to say. And as well as I have no idea how long the recording is going to be because... I've been recording for over 31 minutes and then of course I made some mistakes, I had to do some retakes. I just don't know how long this video is. Just let's try to keep it short and simple. Just have it done that way because otherwise I'm just going to ramble on too much. I'm just going to end off this video here in a recap that we just have all of this to mine up. That this is going to be a staircase. Oh, I remember what I was going to talk about. Oh, well, that'll be for next week. Any case that we're going to make a staircase after that staircase is done. We're going to make a video of it. And then afterwards, we're going to mine it up and then make another video just saying that this is done. And then we're going to continue on with all four sides so that we could have this one giant gray outline. Afterwards, take care of the water, the ocean, take care of the trees, and then just keep on mining until all of this will be grayed out and just completely flat at Y axis four. But until then, this is going to be the end of this video. And for the like goal, let's reach 50 likes because it is summer break. And hopefully your summer break will arrive soon enough too. Until then, have a great day everyone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, then please subscribe. Have a great day. I am Sword of Kings Ryan Zero. And as always, I'll see you guys next time in a new video or live stream.